Welcome to Tuesday and here we are for our maths video. Today we're going to be looking at division. Uh, the most important thing for me to get across to you, all of you, is the fact that it's better to take your time and work methodically through three or four of these than to try and rush through and get stressed and panicked about them. What can you do if you get stuck? Obviously ask an adult, but if you really do want my input, get in touch with me. Second thing I want to say is uh, don't try and do everything on the sheet. There's a lot on here, and the reason for that is some people will be really happy with this, which is fine. Um, might want that extra, get a real buzz out of it. Um, in which case, you know, go for it. But otherwise, maybe have a couple of, go, say, four or five on this side, and then go to set B and think, can I do one or two of those? Give it a shot, see what you can do. You know, challenge yourself by all means, but don't feel you've got to cover everything. Looking at the second sheet, uh, before we go back to the division, we've got some triangles here. Remember, you've got important information up here. Inside angles of triangle equal 180 degrees. So use that knowledge. Go back to old sheets, go back to old videos. By all means, look at what has gone before to help you. This is down here for a challenge. If you want to challenge, do it, but you're not obliged to do it. Don't feel pressured into doing it. Okay, let's get rid of this for the moment. Okay, coming back to this. Uh, oh, one, one more thing. If you watch this video, please let me know you've watched the video. Um, so get in touch with me on the Hazel class email address. Let me know you've watched it, please. Okay, I'm really interested to see whether you have and how you've got on with it. Okay, any feedback, I won't be offended. Let me have it. So learning objective, to divide using standard written method. Um, let's have a little look, let's go for it. So I'm going to just give you two examples that are on the sheet and work through those as carefully as I possibly can. So the first example is 196, and we're dividing by 4. Now we all use different language. Um, some people are more comfortable with grouping, other people are more comfortable with sharing, or just saying divide. So for example, the first number we've got here is 1. 1 divided by 4. Or we might say to ourselves, how many groups of 4 can I get out of 1? or one shared between four. If you have a particular preference, that's fine, use it. I'm going to um, work my way through it now. So one shared between four. Well, I've only got one. I can't share that equally between four, can I? So at the top, I'm gonna to put a zero. Now that one is still there. I still need to use that one, but it hasn't been used. Little line through it. I'm going to exchange it. Have a look at this. It's in the hundreds column. So that's 100, and I want to exchange it for how many tens? 10 tens. So now, instead of nine tens, I've got 19 tens. Ask yourself that same question. 19 shared equally between four. How many fours are in 19? Anyone in the audience? Regan? 16. Okay, right, how many, how many fours make 16? Four. Great, fantastic, okay. So I'm gonna put four up there. Now I'm checking that because it's a good skill to get into, it's good to practice this. Four times four, you're practicing your times table. Four times four is 16. If I take that 16 from the 19, I've got how many left? Three. Fantastic, thank you. So I've got three left over. I can't just forget about them. I've got to exchange them. Three tens exchange for 31. So I've now got 36 in my ones column. 36 divided by four, or 36 shared between four. What would that come to? Olivia? Eight. Fantastic, I'm gonna pop it in there. Now, we check, don't we? We check using our multiplication skills. Have a look at this. Eight times four is 32. Oh, I've realized actually in saying it, in actually saying eight times four, 32, ah, I might be able to get another one out. So 
This is exactly why you do it. Let's get rid of that cheeky thing. 36 divided by 4. How many do we think we could get out of it now? Finn? Nine. Okay, let's try it. 9 times 4 is 36. Perfect, brilliant. I've got nothing left over from my 36 there, so there we have it. Okay, good, brilliant. Thank you, audience. Audience participation, love it. Now, let's go on something a little more tricky. Um, yeah, let's do it. The examples are on the sheet, so don't panic. I'm just looking down there myself. Um, so I've got 297. Oh, different colour, love it. And we're dividing by four. Two, share between four. Can I do it? No. No. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a big fat zero above the two there, which means I've still got that two, two hundreds, and I'm going to exchange them for... Twenty. Brilliant. Twenty in the next column. I've now got twenty-nine that I need to share equally between four. Twenty-nine shared equally between four. Any ideas? Gone. Um. Again, sorry. While while my um, the audience is just thinking about this, it doesn't matter if you get it wrong, because you'll probably find when you put the answer up there and you you talk it through to yourself, you might just hear it. And this is why it's so important to learn the tables, but go for it, Finn. Seven. Okay. Seven times four, 28. So that means I've got how many left over from my 29? Olivia? One. Okay, great. So I'm gonna put that one, I'm gonna put that one, I'm not gonna put it anywhere, I'm exchanging it. I'm exchanging that one ten for 10 ones. Therefore, I've gone from seven to 17 ones. 17 shared between four, equally, Regan. Four. Brilliant. Fantastic. Four times four, 16. So yeah, absolutely spot on. I've got one left over. What am I going to do with that one? Let me show you. I'm going to put my decimal point in because it's right next to, to the right hand side of my ones digit always. I'm going to put one up there on my answer line. And then I'm going to bring a zero in. And I'm going to take that one and I'm going to exchange it for 10 in the next column. So I've now got 10 tenths. 10 share between four. Two. Two, let's write it in. Use your multiplication skills to check. Two times four is eight. Therefore, I've got how many left to exchange? Two. Two. Now, I need to make sure I put my zero in place and then I can bring across and exchange the two tenths that left over for 20 hundredths. I've got 20 here now. Shared between four equally will give me... Um, four. Yeah, okay, let's put the four in. Four times four, 16. So on saying that, I realised I could probably get another one out. So what do we reckon it is? And this is just why we check. There's nothing wrong in getting something wrong. We need to check to make sure that we can actually get it right. So what do you reckon it's going to be? If it's not four. four okay, four fours are 16, so we can get another one out, can't we? So... Five. Five fours are 20. Nothing left to exchange. Perfect. Check. Decimal point is right above. Just like addition and subtraction, that decimal point is right above the other decimal points. Multiplication is the only one that's different. and We'll deal with that later. Okay. Well done. Don't forget, let me know on the email address whether you've watched this video or not. It's really important. And give me any feedback that you want to, as long as it's polite, and I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, take care.